These hyenas are pretty grim looking. They've been murdering something or eating something else that was murdered last night. One in front of us particularly looks a little cross-eyed. Like a gangster that's been on duck or crystal meth as it's known in other parts of the world. It's also got an extra nostril where it's clearly been bitten by one of its friends. The pride revitalizes for a clash of the ages. A roaring battle to decide the outcome of a war so ancient, so deadly, so eternal, that only the gods can remember when it began. But not before they slake their desert thirst. The clan spoils for the fight. Their taunting hopes pouring fuel upon the ancient flames of bitter resentment. Invigorated by elixirous water, the Lion Battalion is ready. air begins to fizz with the tension built of millennia. A young warrior steps to the fore, unable to bear the slights on his kind any longer. The fighter charges! Well, he jogs a bit and uh, propellers his tail like a slashing sort of a saber, which seems mildly disconcerting for the clan. Mild is probably an excellent way to describe this uh, battle as peace returns to the ancient Kalahari with the inexorable rising of the sun. Steady. Moving on from this ancient feud to a spot of patrol. Three man cheaters, Echinonyx Jubatus, cut through a swathe of Schmidia Kalahariensis, neath the glare of the oft times violent Kalahari sun. Echinonyx operates thus to elude the larger, more criminally inclined night predators lion, hyena, spotted and brown, and leopard. He has a gentle disposition. Unless you are a Steinbock, Springhare, or Springbok, then Echinonyx is a rocket cat intent on savaging you for lunch. But what exactly is their business here? Hunting? Exercise? Immigration? No. They are on patrol, smelling for trespassers, scouting for danger, and spending a territorial penny and <laughs> pound. Before floating off to rest in the soft sea of Kalahari sourgrass.
hotel spare files and running into camp. Uh, we are now going to go down towards uh, Mpanyas Mpayatutra Mpayatutra Pan to see if anything else is going on there. There is an enormous storm brewing this side of the camp and so we're going to pack away our very lonely solar panels there. We've got no battery left in the trailer which means that we cannot charge anything and our food is slowly going to rot. Today has been a somewhat frustrating day. It started off really well. Came down to this water hole here just as it got light and suddenly four spotted hyena arrived which was very exciting and then my wife said there are the lions! There are the lions! They had a fight with a hyena we thought that was a pretty good start. I then suggested that we move on to check another area where there had been reports of lions and uh, needless to say we didn't find anything. And on our return here we found that uh, in fact seven lion cubs had arrived and gone away. My wife was deeply dissatisfied with me for a number of hours. And now we are staking out this pan because the chap in front of us over there who has said or who has spent more than 130 days here in the Kalahari reckons that the lions and or the cheetah could come back here and have a drink. I think he's talking utter garbage, but it's very windy and unpleasant in the camp, so we're very happy to sit here, drink coffee, read good books, and stake out this waterhole. Here lands a much maligned, yet supremely useful scavenger. Sadly, this bird is seldom viewed with the wonder associated with its more fancied avian colleagues. The regal martial eagle, for example. This poor white-backed vulture is born of looks more associated with cartoon buzzards, staring hunched from a dead tree at some horrific scene of death. In reality, the vulture has its own peculiar beauty. although that's not very friendly. More important than its debatable attractiveness is its function as a clearer of subjurating, decaying and disease-carrying flesh, a profoundly necessary ecological role. We had visitors yesterday evening. Behold, a lion came to see us. This lioness came to observe where we had made a delicious stew yesterday evening. Just above that lioness track, where clearly she came to a stop, is where our heads were last evening. And now we see a male lion track. There's the male. Massive track there. And here's his friend, the female. And here is not a friend of theirs. That is a hyena, almost certainly a spotted hyena. And if we come up towards the shower area, we will see that a crime was perpetrated by these cats. The male lion came across here. He sniffed at where I had done the washing yesterday evening, obviously not very well if the smell of stew was still on the freshly washed cutlery, and he stuck his head in here. How do we know this, you might ask? Well, we know this because over there used to be a bottle of face wash. That bottle of face wash 
is now over here. And as you can see, it has got teeth marks from a male lion. At about 12 o'clock, we woke up to the sound of licking and peered out of our tent. And my wife said the following, there's a male lion. And so there was. And here he came. It was when he was making these tracks here. And off he walked down into the bush. The lesson from yesterday evening is that when you need a pee pee in the night, take a torch and be careful. spiky and it is quite hard. How do you think you're going to open it? My nails. <laughs>